Hey guys, and welcome back to Let's Play Metroid 2 Return of Samus. And last time we uh, made it through this area, got the space jump and a few other things, and we also got pwned by this freaking Gamma Metroid, but we're not going to do that this time. We're actually going to kick its ass. Yeah. Maybe. I should be able to. I, I was a little more careful getting to here, so, you know, I think I should be okay. And basically, if you can just get yourself to a point to where it's not going to follow you, you should be just fine. And anyway, so now, we are down to just 24 Metroids remaining. Yeah, we're getting pretty close. Well, that's not really close. It's only 15 we've killed in the game so far, but whatever. Alright, so now we're actually going to get the next and final beam upgrade in the game. And I know that, uh... I said in the last part that you don't keep the spacer beam for long, which you really don't, because here is... The plasma freaking beam, and that's going to be all sync, kind of, even though I wasn't really trying to sync to it, but whatever. So anyway, the plasma beam is just this one straight line that shoots decently fast, and it, it basically, the spacer beam and the, the plasma beam are weird, because they go through walls like the wave beam, but they don't do that in uh, either of the Metroids, unless, um, what is actually going on is that... Um, the wave beam kind of factors into both the spacer and the plasma beam, like it does in uh, Super Metroid. Like, you know, it's kind of adding the spacer and plasma features to the wave beam. That would make sense as to why it's going through things. And as you can see, the plasma beam cuts straight through almost anything, as it just, you know, completely obliterates the sand. And it kills almost every single enemy in, like, one hit. I don't think there's very, very many enemies that can actually take more than one hit. Anyway, I grabbed this in the last part, but I just decided to skip it on my way back there because, you know, just thought I'd be a little nice. Alright. And now we just keep moving on, and I'm not sure exactly... Okay, there's eight more Metroids left in this area. So in this room, I was actually mistaking. You can actually jump straight up with the um, space jump. You just have to be careful and time your your jumps right. And okay, here we have some new enemies. This is an Autome. Yeah, they have a lot of Ots enemies in this game. And this is a Shirk. And this area, for some odd reason, has tons of uh, mechanical enemies in it. I don't know why that is. Um, but it does. So let's turn my page. And now we need to bomb through this wall. Because actually the only way to get through it is up here somewhere. And there's a bunch of these tubes here, but I don't think that you actually ever go into any of them. I might be mistaken, but... Anyway. Because I, I can't really remember what all you... If you do anything with these uh, tubes. Okay, nope! Gay, oh, Alpha Metroid. Okay, kind of sounded like I said Gay Metroid there for a second. But oh well, Alpha Metroids... Yeah, I can stand those. Not a threat at all. They're just like the faster, you know, slightly more irritating um, version of the normal baby Metroids. <gasps> Energy tank! I need that. Let's get it. Jump! No, apparently I can't jump far enough to get up there, but... We get an energy tank! <laughs> That's the wrong... Um, victory music for picking up an item because that actually sounded like a uh, wind wakers a little bit but anyway so now we actually need to go all the way back up that shaft to the save room um the one that it put me out when i died last time so okay it's actually fa <laughs> i was gonna try to like um space jump throughout this uh room but i guess you know just going through it or running through it normally is, you know, faster than doing that. Alright, and... Oh! Blah, blah, blah. And these guys are here invincible, if you couldn't see that, because I was shooting at them and it wasn't any damage. See, missiles don't do anything. You know, nothing. And sometimes they actually will shoot at your plasma beam, or maybe that's just... I don't know if those Automes just shoot ra at random, or not, but... There was that one point where every time I shot the plasma beam, they would, uh, um, blow their fire. And that actually got me thinking that maybe, um, you know, this kind of acted like, um, 
Metroid Prime in a way that shows that the plasma beam was fire, because you actually don't see that in any Metroid game until actually Metroid Prime, when they actually make the plasma beam, like, fire. Which it's weird, because you don't really ever notice that in any of the other 2D Metroids that came before that, that had the plasma beam. Actually, there was only um, two Metroid games that came before that that actually had the plasma beam in them. And, uh, because Metroid Fusion has a plasma beam in it, but it comes after, um, Metroid Prime. So anyway, this room is a bitch. I'm trying to get back up. I'm not gonna lie to ya. Just try to kill as many of these odd tracks as you can, and then just stick to the right, and you can get up there just fine. As long as you, um, don't let the, uh, odd tracks get on the screen, they won't shoot you. Alright, um... Yeah, so now, you need to go this way, and there's uh, something here, I believe, or maybe not, this is where we got that one energy tank, okay, there's nothing here, well, I guess we just keep going up, and I think there's another save station up here somewhere, I believe, um, Oh, oh, okay, yeah, we're supposed to go this way. I remember this area. Um, the Hell's Ends, which, now that we don't have the plasma beam, we can't kill directly for some reason, so... That kind of sucks. So anyway, these things on the wall here that act as platforms, and they are completely harmless. These are Probo Scums, and... <laughs> though that's a weird name, because when you think Probo Scum, you think of, like, something crawling around on the ground, and... Looks like an amoeba or something, but nope. They're actually um, robots that are not dangerous at all. Okay, and in here we're going to fight us yet another Gamma Metroid. And like I said, this area goes really fast with the Metroids, and that's how the rest of the game is, because they just start packing them all in, like, very close quarters, kind of. So anyway, oh, why you got to go right below me? <laughs> I guess you can kind of use that to your advantage and just you know, hit the Metroid in the air like three or four times before you even land. Hey, I'm right here. Retard. Stupid Metroid. Stupid monkey. Alright, die, die, die. Just keep pushing it back and you'll be fine. Okay. There we go. Dead. And, uh, now... Uh, we're done in this shaft. I was thinking that there was something else in here, but there's not. This shaft, this this big room's only purpose is to house a Gamma Metroid, which, if that's the reason, then why couldn't they just make it, you know, something small and easy to get through? But whatever. <laughs> Can't complain too much. That was actually fairly easy. It was, it was easier than the one where you face that has the invisible floor and all that. Alright, so here can be a little tricky because you have to jump with these Probo Scums to get up this room, and you also have to clutch onto the left wall at some point! Jeez. Ah! Okay, what I'm trying to do, yeah, get on the wall, get up to this guy, and then jump, and latch, and then there we go. Oh! Okay, that worked out okay, I guess. And in here we find us in a, a, a fake floor, kind of. Um, we get us yet another energy tank. So now we're up to four. We've actually gotten two so far in this video, which is pretty good. Alright, there's only two left in the game, but the sixth one will not do anything because this game only allows you to hold five energy tanks, which is kind of weird. It's one less than the first game, but whatever. Enemies do a lot less damage in this game than they do in um, the original Metroid, so I don't really see it as a huge deal. Alright, so this can be a little tricky to get out of because it's just so awkward. You can then jump out, or not. Okay, jump! There we go. And now we're done with this little area. And now, we can just head back to the save station. 
And the reason why I refer to these save stations a lot is because they are kind of checkpoints for an area, if you really think about it. Because you could save there, and if you die, you know, you're just going to start back from there. And I hate these freaking Probo scums, man. They just, uh... They drop almost every single time when you land on them, unless you're lucky. And the space jump doesn't help in this area either. Because you can't just... You have to make slightly short jumps. Oh my goodness. Okay, I'm not going to be defeated by this room, and I'm not, I'm not going to spend half the video trying to get out of here. Alright. Alright. Alright, fuck! Almost all the way back down to the bot. Uh. Okay, can we just get it to the point to where we can just go up? Don't hug the wall, because the Probo Scums will stop you. Okay, if you can just get yourself into a rhythm of pushing the A button, you should be fine. Alright. So now, just avoid the housing. Okay, this is going to be a little bit of a bitch! Alright. <laughs> don't yell. It's just a video game. I don't see why people yell at video games all the time. They're just video games that you're playing. I mean, I, I admit that I yell at video games a lot. But, you know, it's just... Ah! It's like, why can't I do it? Alright, and these guys suck because you can't can't really hurt them unless you hit them like directly in between their like sidearm things whatever you want to call them okay and I'm gonna pop down here and save just in case just in case so now with my luck I'll end up dying at some point and hopefully that doesn't happen but you never know especially with me and my failure rate at this point all right and then we'll jump out of here, and let's see our, where our journey is going to take us next. We still have six Metroids to kill in this area. Not a lot. And... What the heck? Oh. Now we just need to continue heading right back to the last shaft we were in, which I think is just, you know, where we were. And just for precautionary measures, I'm going to drop down to where that energy or that missile battery was, and I'm going to refill my, my missiles, because in my practice file, and I mentioned this earlier, I actually ran out of missiles just about at one point, and I just got very lucky because they were decent input, um an energy battery right next to a Gamma Metroid. So I, I actually blew through almost 200 missiles between this point and like the next area. And why do they got to put these pincher flies here? Because now we have to avoid them in order to get back up this wall. Alright. And then we got Gravitons or Gravitons or something like that. Their spiky heads. And I believe the energy battery is right down here. Yep. And there we go. 210 missiles. Cool beans. So we should have 210 missiles, which leaves us with only uh, four missile expansions to get in the game left. And then we should have four energy tanks and 22 Metroids remaining. So, like I said, we're not done with, well, I haven't said this yet, but we're not done with this area, but we just need to get back to the shaft. Because there are some areas left unexplored in this shaft. Um, oh, okay. Need to go to the door on the right, and I don't think we've been through this door yet, so... Adventure! And if this is the right room, there should be a save. And yes, there is, because I remember this room. It has a a weird kind of aquatic background-looking thing. And I want to get back up there and save, because I don't want to mess up and then die and then have to deal with that. And those things um, on those reverse pillars are actually spiky, and they do do damage for some reason. So we'll save. 
and I have no idea what they're called, but you can shoot them, but they don't, they don't drop anything. So they're not creatures, but they're just kind of a, a nuisance kind of um, obstacle, I guess you could say. Um, yeah, so we need to go to the room on the right. And in here we have a Gamma Metroid. I thought it was just going to be an Alpha Metroid for a second, but nope. It seems like almost every Alpha Metroid we encounter has already transformed or is in the process of transforming when we get there. Okay, so one thing I hate about these Gamma Metroids is that, you know, you shoot them, but they, they're not always backed or pushed back, which sucks. Alright, so now... Ooh, I better check the time. Oh, 18 minutes. Okay, not bad. Not bad. And there was actually two minutes before I actually started talking in this recording because I was fucking around and listening to, you know, some music that I used to listen to all the time. Oh, I was nostalgic, but whatever. So these things right here are called TPOs, and uh, I don't remember barely anything about them, but, you know, they're weird. They float around, and you can shoot them, and they drop energy and all that good stuff. But I read on the the wiki Troid or whatever wiki I was looking at at the time, because there's a couple Metroid ones, but it said that those things were actually created by the Chozo, and they're, they're kind of like maintenance robots or something, but who knows? Who knows? Um, so now we need to go to the top, because there's nothing really in the bottom. Really. I don't, I'm not sure. And, ah, oh, this is a weird room. There's, like, all kinds of this, like, weird webbing stuff. Or web. Or honeycombs, or whatever you want to call it. And it doesn't do anything, it's just you can't really shoot through it. Because if you see, well, you can shoot through it with the plasma beam, but if you, if you shoot missiles, the missiles don't go through it. So, you know, you kind of have to take this stuff out before you worry about the Metroid that's in here. Yeah, so, anyway, guys, I'm going to go in this part here. Next time on Let's Play Metroid 2, we will move on and potentially kill the Metroid that's in this room. So see you guys next time. Bye.